OSU Cascades invited the community to get an update on the progress of the campus expansion. Tracy Tuesday was there and has that update for us. Tracy? Here at the community open house at OSU Cascades, the community gets a chance to come on out and explore the progress being made, specifically turning a landfill and pumice mine into a university campus. So this is this is just the next phase of building a four-year university at, for Central Oregon. We came to the COCC campus in 2001. In 2012, we moved, uh, had permission to open a four-year university, and in 2016, we opened Tyson Hall that was the first building on this site. And so since then, we've built the dormitory and the dining hall. We've built Ray Hall, which is behind us here, and we've started the work on remediating the site. The site was 128 acres and of that only 118 acres was usable. It was a pumice mine and a demolition landfill that the county owned. So we came here really with the intention of turning this from something that was unusable to something that's an economic asset for the community in Central Oregon. Visitors were treated to two guided tours, a van tour showcasing the work underway for the eight-acre Future Innovation District. This effort takes place in the former landfill area and pumice mines. It's reached an important juncture as excavation related to this phase was recently completed. The pinkish one was about somewhere between nine and 11,000 years ago, and down below that, some, something like uh, 15, 20,000 years ago. But that whole layer, you know, 10 foot layer of pumice uh, is all from one volcanic eruption. The hard hat tour was of the Student Success Center and its mass timber structure. The building will open to students in winter of 2025. Mass timber, uh, Gulam beans columns, CLT panels, roof, um, sourced uh, by Kalishnikov. Linda Johnson was part of the founding of OSU Cascades back in 2001. Nearly 25 years later, she came to see what her work had inspired. What I think is the most exciting for me is when I go to a store or a business or I meet someone at a party and I find out that they've gotten a degree here at OSU. It just lights me up. I mean, it, it's just amazing to be a present and a to that kind of excitement of people getting their education and making a career here. The work underway was funded by the Oregon State Legislature, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and OSU. The Student Success Center was funded by the state legislature and student fees. But to complete this massive project, more funding is needed. OSU Cascade says it's expanding to serve three to 5,000 students. Its 128-acre campus will offer smaller classes to accelerate faculty student mentoring and pragmatic learning. Tracy Tuesday, News Channel 21.